In today's practice, I'll be sharing with you some effective Pilates exercises that will be useful for you if you're already suffering from back pain. There'll be modification for the exercises. So please grab your yoga mat or Pilates mat. Just remember it has to be at least 8 mm in thickness to protect your back. So if you're ready, let's begin right now. Let's begin with the mindful breathing. So if you're comfortable, just sit like that, cross leg. Okay, on the mat. If not, you can sit on a chair or you can also sit on a yoga block or a very firm cushion okay, to elevate your hips. So you can place it under your buttocks like this and sit tall. Just make sure your hips are knees. So keeping the back straight, your head over your shoulders, shoulders over your hips, lengthen your spine. So your hands can be palms facing up or palms down, okay, whichever way you feel more comfortable. All right, so from here, we're gonna gently close your eyes first and just feel your breath, inhale and exhale. Just bring your mind back to your body, bring your mind back to the breath. And if you're new to the mindful breathing, you can place one hand okay, on your abdomen and the other hand on your chest. And as we inhale, abdomen out. And exhale, abdomen in. Each time you inhale, feel the abdomen coming out. And exhale, abdomen in. Inhale, abdomen out. And exhale, abdomen in. Continue at your own pace. Okay, and once you feel the movement of the abdomen, you can also breathe all around. So beside the abdomen, you inhale to the side okay, of your trunk and also to the back. So it's basically all around. So like a balloon, you inhale, inflate the balloon and exhale, bring everything closer to our spine. So inhaling to the side and also to the back and exhale, bring everything closer to your spine. Okay, two more times. Inhale to the side and back. And exhale, draw the waist closer to your spine. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Okay, good. And from here, let's begin with the Pilates exercises, okay, for back pain relief. So we're gonna go on to the top of the mat so I would suggest that we keep, if you have a yoga block, keep it close to you. You might need it, all right? So if you do not have that spine or so, you can just be mindful of the placement of your feet, okay, and your knees. So from here, hands under your knees, sitting tall. So if you have the yoga block, okay, or you can also imagine that the yoga block between your knees, you gently grip hold of the yoga block to engage your inner thighs. Hands touching, okay, the outer thigh like this. Okay, sitting very tall, your head over your shoulders, shoulders over your hips, keeping your chin parallel to the floor. So inhale here. Now exhale without collapsing. We're gonna round the lower back round the mid back, opening up the back and then if you feel comfortable you can gently walk the hands back and go a little bit lower but do not flatten the back keep the belly drawn towards your spine, relax your shoulders breathe deeply into your lower back now as we exhale maintaining this C curve and we go forward like this and then slowly lengthen sequentially from the lower spine coming all the way up sitting tall two more times, inhale and exhale, and here we're practicing the half roll back, okay, just to warm up the spine. Breathing, draw belly towards the spine, relax the shoulders, inhale. And exhale, crown forward. And slowly lengthen, coming all the way up. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Slowly reaching back, okay, and relax the shoulders. Draw the belly in, do not flatten your back. Inhale and exhale, going forward. And sitting very tall, okay, and then arms out and feel the balance here, breathing, engage your shoulder blades. So you wanna draw the shoulder blades down. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Okay, good, relax. So we're going to just have the yoga block away and we're gonna to shift to the center of the mat. So let's form a diamond shape like that, okay? 
like this and hands here so we're going to go into the twist so first we turn to one side of the body so one hand inside the diamond and the other hand outside so we twist first and feel very tall and then from here we're going to flex the spine to a C curve and we're going to just have the crown moving closer but do not drop down this way so keep the sit bone down relax your shoulders and breathe into the whole entire back all the way down to a lower back make sure we're not squeezing your shoulders exhale so both sit bone down shoulders away from the ears one more deep breath inhale and exhale okay inhale coming up so let's sit very tall first and then we turn to the other side Okay, so one hand inside the diamond, the other hand outside, and inhale here, sitting very tall, feel the twist. Now exhale, we go into a flexion, and stretching the back, and then breathe into the lower back, and exhale, keeping both sit bone down, one more deep breath, inhale, and exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, Okay, good. And slowly sit tall, sit taller, 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 and slowly coming back to center. Okay, now next we're going to work on the shoulder blades. All right, so we're going to, I'm just going to turn to the back this way. So you can sit with your legs crossed this way. Okay, and then arms out here. All right, you can face me. Okay, so from here, I'm just showing you the, the back. And we're going to reach the arms out. Inhale, now exhale. So imagine someone is touching, okay, or pushing down your shoulders, and then you reach your arms up. So we need to keep the neck really long. Okay, now how close, not important. Maybe a bigger V is better. Inhale, now exhale, slowly reach the side and all the way down. One more time, inhale and exhale so make sure you're not arching your back and feel very tall shoulder blades down fingertips reaching up okay you can see you can feel the neck lengthening so shoulder blades okay moving inwards and downwards breathing and slowly release down okay and last time just going to change in that direction so you can see clearly so stay in the same position for you okay so sitting tall and slowly reach to the side so without pushing the ribcage forward staying neutral we reach the arms up chin parallel to the floor breathing 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 and slowly reach the arms to the side and all the way down okay good and then from here we're going to lie down on the mat so we're going to go into the single leg stretch, all right? So, but first let's do the breathing. So if you're not comfortable with the single leg stretch, you can just stick with the first uh, modification. Okay, I feel that this is like the really effective. Okay, it's just deep core activation, okay, with just the breathing. So your thumbs, okay, behind your earlobes, hands behind your head like this supporting your head properly, engage your shoulder blades, elbows slightly off, your knees and feet okay, slightly apart in this position first. Then we're going to slowly draw one knee over your hip socket, okay, so somewhere, knees over your hips, aware. Okay, we're now going to imprint once we lift the leg up. Inhale, exhale, slowly draw the other knee up, knees and feet together. So keep the lower back touching the mat. So your belly drawn towards your spine. Okay, so keep the lower back kissing the mat. Not pressing down, so you can feel the engagement here. Breathe. Okay, now next, if you feel comfortable, engage your shoulder blades, inhale, nod your head first. Exhale, flex your neck. Now you need to engage your abdominal muscles and curl up a little bit more. So gazing around your inner thigh, and you can just, let's just take three deep breaths together here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So you can rest, can you release the head down, or you can continue with the single leg stretch. So we can keep the legs like this first. So I'll give a few variations. Inhale. Exhale. Extend the other leg. Inhale here. Exhale. Switch. 
Inhale, exhale, extend. Okay, bend both knees first. Release the neck and head down for a moment. Okay, we're gonna do one more time and this time only if you're comfortable, we can lower the extended leg down slightly, okay, slightly. So from here, we're going to inhale here, exhale, we're gonna slowly extend the left leg. Now gently lower it slightly, maybe just like that. Okay, make sure you're not arching your back, that's the most important, okay. And from here, we're going to inhale, nod the head, exhale, flex the neck. And slowly flex the abs. Stay here, breathe. Okay, aware that the lower back is still kissing the mat. And from here, we switch. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Keeping the legs high. Inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Inhale. So you can do one leg at one time, one breath. <sighs> Inhale, switch. And exhale, switch. Bend both knees and slowly release the neck and head down. Okay, and hands down. Slowly lower one foot down, lower the other foot down. Okay, let's stretch out the legs and arms up over your head, stretch out, breathing. Next, we're gonna practice obliques. Okay, so we're going to just have the knees bent, feet down on the mat for this practice, but the feet not too close to you, maybe slightly further away. So make sure you can maintain a neutral pelvic placement so your tailbone is not pointing upwards, okay? So keep it neutral here. And hands behind your head, relax the neck and shoulders, engage your shoulder blades now, elbows slightly off the mat. Inhale, nod your head, exhale, flex your neck. And then you need to engage your abdominal muscles here and flex the abs. Inhale here. Now exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, release down. We're going to do another variation. Now notice that I'm not tucking. Okay, I'm not squeezing my buttock as I twist. Okay, you want to observe that. And again, inhale, nod your head, exhale, flex your neck, inhale here, exhale, twist, and extend the opposite arm like that, inhale, back to center, support, and exhale. <sighs> inhale, center, and again, exhale. <sighs> inhale, center, and last time, exhale. Coming back to center, slowly release and relax. Okay, it looks easy, but it's actually very deep. And most people, if they're not careful, they might arch your back. So it's okay to just go right and left one time and then you release the head down. Okay, then if you get a little bit stronger, you can do four and then release down. Okay, so let's do one more time, exactly the same thing. So usually when you have back pain, we don't want to do it for we don't do too many reps. We want to have a bit of rest in between so they can relax and come back to maintaining a good alignment before we continue. So let's come back to our breath, lengthen the spine, relax the hip flexor, okay, your pelvic placement neutral. And we go inhale, nod your head, exhale, flex your neck. And this is the important part. Try to engage your six pack here and lift up a little bit more. Okay, inhale. Now exhale, twist. <sighs> inhale, center, support so you do not hang your head. And exhale to the other side. <sighs> inhale, center. <sighs> exhale. <sighs> Last time, inhale here and exhale. Slowly come back to center, inhale, exhale, slowly release the neck and head down and slowly relax the arms. Straighten legs first, shake out the legs. Okay, if you feel comfortable, bring the arms up over your head and stretch through your heels and your fingertips, stretch, stretch, stretch. Okay, good. Next, we're going to go into the toe tap. So we're going to keep the head down this time, so palms beside the hips okay so bend the knees come back to your neutral pelvic placement okay so if you have done the fundamental you know that we form a triangle uh, tray like this and then we place it here to make sure the triangle tray is parallel to the floor so from here okay toe tap 
Okay, very important. Okay, we're going to keep the low back touching the mat when both feet off. So let's engage the shoulder blades by reaching the fingertips to the end of the mat. So from here, let's have the toe touching first. Now, some of you might really feel a lot, okay? So you want to be careful, okay? And from here, let's follow my instruction carefully. We're going to slowly draw one knee up and draw the other knee up. Now, once your knees are, you can adjust so that you can keep the lower back resting on the mat, not pressing down, okay? So just kissing, I like to use the word kissing the mat. Okay, and the knees and feet together, lengthen the arm. Now, let's start with the modified version where the toes is reaching but not touching the mat, okay? So that we maintain imprint on our lower back. So lengthen through the crown, inhale, exhale, like this, and then coming back, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, coming back up. So we keep the knee flex at all time. Now exhale, now using lower abdominal strength, see whether you can go a little bit lower. And inhale, coming back up. Do not strain your back. And exhale. <sighs> inhale, coming back up. So we're finding out, okay, how far can we go today? Okay, it's not about no pain, no gain. Okay, you just want to go to a point where you challenge your core, but you're not straining it. Okay, now those of you who might feel okay, then maybe your toes, maybe your toes can touch the mat. Inhale up and exhale. So another way to think uh, of stabilizing your pelvis is imagine there's a little teacup here. Okay, and this teacup has hot tea inside and you do not want to spill the tea. All right, and let's do the last two here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So in this class, Okay, coming back, okay, the repetition is not so important. It's more uh, learning how to pause when you need to. Okay, and then slowly bring the knees closer and then stay here for a moment. Breathing, breathing, and then we're just going to rock the pelvis, okay, like this. So clockwise and then anti clockwise. So you kind of get to massage your low back a little bit. Okay. And one more time, massaging the lower back and to the other side. Okay, all right, good. And then from here, lower one foot down, lower the other foot down. Let's slowly turn to the side and then we come up. Okay, let's go into lateral flexion. So we're going to stand on our knees. Now we're going to keep our knees, keep distance apart. Okay, and the toes are relaxed, we don't, we don't need to tuck our toes. So relax the shoulders, even when we're standing on our knees, we need to stand tall. So draw the belly towards your spine, your tailbone, pointing downwards. Stay here and inhale, looking far. Exhale, we're just going to stretch to the side, relax this arm. Okay, so we're not arching the back, keep the belly drawn towards your spine. Inhale, exhale to the other side. Inhale, coming back up, and exhale. Inhale, coming back up, and exhale. Inhale, coming back up, and stay there, breathing, standing tall. Now we're going to extend our right leg, okay? So your toes and your knees, one straight line, and arms out. So make sure that your heels not dropping. So we keep the toes down, but we feel very tall, standing tall. And from here, shoulder blades down, rib cage placement neutral. We're not puffing the rib cage forward. So inhale here as we exhale. So like an aeroplane. So this line here is one long line. Just aware of this alignment here. Engage the shoulder blades. Stay here. All right. Now only if you feel comfortable. Okay, don't force. Maybe the fingertip can go a little bit lower or even just a touch on the mat, not necessary, okay? So lengthen the side of the body, breathing and coming back. Inhale and exhale. Okay, and then change to the other side. So from here, we bend the knees. Okay, stand tall, find your center first. Feel your center, 
then slowly we extend the left knee check alignment so your left toe and your right knee on the same horizontal line without sinking the heels okay we're gonna have the heels up and arms out engage the shoulder blades okay so ribcage placement neutral so from here we're gonna slowly stretch to the side so starting just like that okay in this alignment feel very tall breathing only if you have been practicing this for a while maybe you want to go a little bit further okay a little bit further maybe for some of you the fingertips might just touch the mat but this is not necessary breathe 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 and coming back up inhale and exhale okay then from here let's rest here for a moment and we also get to stretch so go into your cat stretch and slowly go into the shell stretch okay and similar to the child's pose we can have the hands beside and take this time to breathe deeply into your lower back release the elbows breathe deeply and exhale one more deep breath inhale and exhale so inhale here and exhale slowly crawl up and for the last exercise today we're going to lie down on the mat okay for the side leg series let's lie down on our side starting with your right side so we're going to stretch out the right arm this way okay and you're going to have your lower leg slightly in front Okay, just make sure you can rest comfortably okay, on your arm like this way and then your top leg will be stretched out this way so if there is a mirror on top of you you will see a long line from your fingertips right down to your toes okay just make sure you're not arching your back and you can also feel that this lower waist here is lifted off so imagine that there's an ice cube under the waist so this hand can be here so really lengthen and reach your legs out Okay, so from here we're going to draw small circles so focusing on lengthening okay this part of the body small circles and focus on stabilizing the pelvis and we go inhale exhale inhale exhale reverse direction inhale exhale inhale exhale and then from here okay we're just going to do a stretch here so we're going to bring the right knee okay and i'm just going to reach the legs up stretching the inner thigh breathing breathing and then from here we flex and then lengthen have a good stretch and really reach out reaching out and then point your toes bring the lower leg under so without arching the back maybe you can keep it hip level or slightly higher depending how you feel so you're going to squeeze the inner thigh okay so keep the top leg in the same position same level inhale now exhale so lengthen lower just two more times inhale up exhale lengthen lower last time inhale and exhale and slowly lengthen lower okay we're gonna draw the knees okay closer to us at the same time we get to stretch the lower back and then slowly come up let's go to the other side so from here we're gonna lie on the left side one long line so you can see my top hand is in front so i can balance my body and the lower leg okay in front and the top leg okay yeah stretch out this way and again visualize if there's a mirror on top fingertips to your toes one long line okay lower leg is in front and the top hand this way so you're not rocking back and just feel that there's an ice cube under the belly so you really draw the belly towards your spine not sinking into the mat okay breathing and so let's start with a small circle here and we go inhale exhale inhale exhale reverse direction so we're going to keep the circle small so the whole focus here is not to move the pelvis okay we lengthen leg and we mobilize the hip socket by drawing small circles okay good and stay here lengthen breathing and then from here we're just going to stretch so draw the knees up okay 
so everyone's different just go from here without rocking the hips back and just extend the leg out feel the stretch okay inner thigh all right and then from here flex and then stretch through the heels feel like someone is pulling your heels away from you lengthen 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 okay and then point your toes and then from here we're going to bring the lower leg in and aware that we're not arching the back so if this is not if this is challenging for you keep the legs about hip level this way all right but if you can slightly higher than hip level and from here without arching the back inhale exhale bring the lower leg up okay engage the inner thigh and lower down two more times inhale up exhale okay join and lengthen lower and last time inhale up and exhale join lengthen lower and slowly release okay we bend the knees okay and we slowly come up okay let's do a gentle stretch before we end the class so from here you're going to have your knees bend this way okay just about hip distance apart sitting very tall hands here so inhale here now exhale nod your head slowly flex forward glide the hands forward open up the back breathe into the mid and lower back breathing one more deep breath inhale and exhale last one inhale and exhale inhale here and exhale okay good so from here slowly coming back up lengthening the spine sitting tall relax okay so just want to share with you if you find that any of the exercises here are still quite challenging then i invite you to join us in a program okay for back pain relief there are two classes that you can try out so if not, continue to breathe mindfully and I hope that you can also get a chance to watch my other videos so that can help you with your practice. I hope that you can continue to breathe mindfully and have a relaxed and balanced week ahead. So until the next practice, I'll see you.